what am I going to do? Simply put that band around your head and speak into the microphone. Okay. This good? Yeah, that's great. Okay, now tell us what happened in the morning. Well, I left my apartment to go to work, like modeling business and everything. I climbed into my limo and we drove off. And then I saw Destiny. She was walking and she had this thing came covering her face building after so doing I... my video with Rose. And then I came across this really weird thing lying it on happened the ground. So, quick, so I picked it, it up. It was like and... blinding me. And then I heard Rose scream. And then I looked and through the window and I saw all this we fire up and then, to something. So I did what I could. A little bit of snooping around, you know. Wouldn't do any harm. So I think at out. all. Except for a quick lunch break. And it was like two minutes. He would have taken much longer to kill somebody so, than two um, minutes. So thank you I mean, all for helping us out with this crime. Most of you cooperated. Mm. Hmm. And just a message out there, everyone who didn't can go straight up my and Some people really didn't cooperate with us, but we have to put that behind us because we still got to do some questioning. Christina is right. We've got to find out who was paying the assassins. Whoever did that was a part in the crime, too. The minute the vampires got in, like this, there's uh, some blood coming from the ceiling. It's like, it's like Pierre, huh? Excusez-moi, are you talking to me? Excuse me, I'm just, yes, we're talking to you. Why would I say your name if I'm not talking to you? Anyway, we heard you're the mellowest of the three killers. Is that true? Sorta. Okay, well then, we'll be questioning you. Come to the audition studio. We'll be going there instead of the other room. Oh, and don't try to pull any tricks, because there will be video surveillance. See you there. I'm gonna get a soda. Are the drinks and refreshments? I like drinks and refreshments while watching movies. It's not a movie. I'm sorry, but in the condition your wife is in, that'll be almost impossible. You might shatter her leg even more than it has been already. But doctor, there has to be a way. I'm afraid there isn't. Your wife's leg is in too much of a trauma. You're gonna have to wait until it's all better. But I can't wait. We've got a few... so much love for her. Well, um, when did you start your assassination career? Well, it all started when... Wait a second. You've got an American accent. Yeah, I changed my accent when I changed my identity. Really? When you started murdering, you started changing. Yep. All changed when we started. Okay, then. You'd better tell us. Also, where are you? Serious about the video surveillance thing? Of course I was. Look. Oh. Well then, here's my story. Me, Juliet, and Raymond, all back then we were young. And, well, we were stone broke. So we needed some jobs, and most jobs were going down. Our jobs in the spy career, we wanted a raise. We pressured them. And we lost our jobs there, too. So, soon we got a call from a woman. She said, you can have as much money as you want. You just have to work for me. So, we agreed, and that's when we started. Wait a second. She phoned you? Did you ever know her phone number? Nope. She kept herself and her phone number completely anonymous. How's that even possible? She phoned you. You could just phone her back. No, we couldn't. She has like five phones or something. She used another one every time she called. Wow, that's smart. She covered up the tracks where she stepped in the ice. Ah! Christina! That guy's jacket so does not match his scarf. If we didn't hate her, you and Rose would have gotten along well. When drama comes with Christina, it's like sticking a Mentos in a Coca-Cola bottle. Oh, whatever. But, like... With five phones, that would equal roughly three hundred to five thousand dollars. Five thousand? That's the exact equivalent of what Whitney, Michael, and, um, what was her name? Yeah, the blonde girl, Whitney, earn in a week. 
in a week. Oh my god! It must have been one of them that did it! And they're closest enough to the crime to be able to do it, too! We've got to go question them. No! No! I have to see how it ends! Come on, drama queen. <laughs> No. We've found that having talked to all of you, we found out that the person paying the assassins is one of the models. One of the top models. Yes, Rose, Whitney, Michael, I'm talking to you. But now we come to the question of which one of you did it. Rose, you cannot be it. You are a shopaholic, therefore, you have your money under strict watch now that your parents have found out you spent thousands on lip gloss. You cannot buy anything else. That includes phones. You only have two of them, and you can't buy anything else. So, you cannot be it. Michael, you are too dedicated to your work. Even if it did make you more popular and it did give you more money, you would never risk your job. Therefore, you cannot be it either. And Whitney, you were too stupid. Well, at least that's what I thought at first. You are actually an incredibly smart brunette by the name of Serena Lopez. You were paying the assassins, and you wanted the other models dead because you were jealous. They were so much more beautiful and more talented than you. They all were platinum blondes and, and dark blacks, and you were just the same old brown-haired girl. So, you wanted them dead, but you didn't want to get your paws dirty. That's when you hired assassins. Isn't that right? Hmm, I'm surprised. You are smarter than I thought. But how could she be doing it all? Well, this is how the story goes. Whitney was doing her commercial for teeth whitening. She snuck out when Raymond and the director weren't looking and tape recorded a message telling the designers to assassinate Rose and Michael. She hid it under the table, then headed out, telling the director that she was going on a quick lunch break. Went to Rose's room and knocked over the lamp, starting the fire. Then she got back from her lunch break and acted as though nothing had happened. True or false? True. Who are you? Sherlock Holmes. Whitney, you are under arrest. If you could paint your nails any color you wanted, Zoe, what color would it be? Christina, you know I can't answer that one because I never paint my nails. Well, if you would paint your nails, what color would it be? Hmm. Okay, either a black, a green, or a light blue. Cutting it short. Okay. <laughs> now I know what to buy. <laughs> the monkey fell over. <laughs> what the heck was that? Italian. Hello, Tamsin and Frigia here, and Whitney Bree has just been sent to jail. The huh? Turn up the volume! ...has been accused of the following. Arson, murder, attempted murder, and paying assassins. The three killers are also linked to the crime, as they were Whitney and two other models designers at the time. They have been sent to jail for five years, and Whitney for two. She has also been sent for ten months in counseling. We asked the security ga guards how they figured out the crime, but they told us that it was three mystery girls who solved it. We will be, look we'll be on the lookout for these three mystery girls. This is Tamsin Frisia signing off. Thank you for watching. Hmm, I wonder who those three mystery girls were. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs>